work with you and get to know what true love is. And with your donation, help us change lives. Blessing, dear brothers and sisters, I'm Father Claudio from Mission Ruach around the world. And in this 14th day of fasting, I would like to invite you to meditate about how Jesus can teach us to fight against bad spirits. Choose for this, uh, these words of the prophet Nehemiah, chapter 1, 4 to 5. A reading from a book of the prophet Nehemiah. When I heard these words, I sat down, wept and mourned for days. I fast and pray before God of heaven. And I said, O oh, Yahweh, God of heaven, you are fearsome and great. You are, keep your covenant and your kindness toward who love you and fulfill your commandments. The gospel of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. Dear brothers and sisters, this text from the prophet Nehemiah is telling us something very important, that uh, God, for the people they are respecting, the commandments is giving blessing and power but one times where we are not respecting his commandments, he tried to bring us to the good way. Jesus is teaching us how we can fight against bad spirits. And he was bringing him by the Holy Spirit in the desert. The devil was tempted him. And when he started, torn this, torn this stone into the breads. Jesus was answering, man does not live from bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Always we need to answer to the, the bad spirit with the gospel or with the words of God, the psalm. But be sure that Jesus answered with the words of God all the time when the bad spirit it's fighting against him. And he's telling how you are fighting. Maybe are you are fighting enough because you tell, you know, I was not able to forgive. But did you try to ask Jesus, Jesus, try to forgive and forget in me. Try to send a message to that person that I maybe I don't, uh, I have not good feeling. It's time to think about what kind of the spirits are attacking me. Because these three things Jesus is telling us. Gluttony, the avarice, and also the temptation to fold your life and to destroy your life. This is coming with each one of us. And he's telling you, see, that these seven capital sin. Yet you know very well, it is uh, pride, also the slot, also the lazy, avarice, gluttony, hate, and envy. These kind of things, they are coming slowly in your heart. They may be by ears. It's time to, now it's time to fight and to invite Jesus to help you because the fasting is giving you power. San John the Cross Chrysostom explained what the power of the fasting is and where, why. Because you surrender your will in God's will. And you are son of God and daughter of God and not a slave. Slave of that seven capital sin. San John told, he who prays and fasts as it should be 
does not need many things. He who does not need many things will not be carried away by the love of money, root or all evil. The one who fast feel light and with wings pray more careful, which is the bad concupiscence become pleased pleasing to God and humbles the proud soul. Hence the apostle fasted almost all, always. The one who fast feels that the wings of his soul are doubled and lighter than the same winds. He does not yawn, doesn't stretch, doesn't feel dull, in prayer as happened to many, but he feels a burning stronger and then fire and uh, he raised above the earth. Beautiful words of St. John Chrysostom. These wings we need, the wings of the Holy Spirit, the wings of the prayer and the charity, fasting, you will feel more stronger. And the wounds Jesus will heal through also this answer. Fast, pray, and do charity, and you understand that your life is a blessing. Let's ask this 14th day of fasting a blessing from Jesus. This blessing to come to fast in us. Come, Holy Spirit, to each one of us and bring to us and this day, 14th day, the grace is to know to fight against the spirit that more they attack us. Jesus, fast in us and feed us with your Eucharist, with your word. We want to be like you. Teach us, Jesus, to be your present in this world, to respect the God will in the divine will, to surround our will to his divine will, where this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit brings you peace, and this blessing brings to your present of God into your heart. And the Holy Virgin, be with you all the day of your life. Amen. Make difference. You can make a difference. Allow Jesus to share in you. You can make a difference. Allow Jesus to share in you. You can make a difference. Allow Jesus to share in you. You, you can make a difference. Allow Jesus to share in you.
work with you and get to know what true love is. And with your donation, help us change lives.